We're gonna run your purge test today on a shredder granulator uh, combination unit. This is the 600 series. And this actually is a little taller than normal because this has the uh, conveyor option. So it's a conveyor hopper. You can buy it with uh, another option where the, the actual inlet's a little bit lower on the unit. Um, what this unit has is a control cabinet. And the control cabinet has the blower, the granulator, hydraulics to work the actual ram inside the unit, the shredder, and then the conveyor feature um, on, the, on the system. What we have is uh, the drive motor for the granulator is an SEW, and the drive for the shredder piece, which is in the upper part of the chamber, uh, is also an SEW unit. This system has an integrated blower system with it. Walk around the unit. It's right here in the back. So it's a fairly compact system where you have the power unit for the hydraulics uh, right here. Then you have your blower system for your blower, which is located in the back. This is your, your ram um, to push the material towards the uh, shredder piece. And then up the blower into a Gaylord right next to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the video and then prep the material and then I'll take you through start up and then run the products for you and then we'll bag up uh, the material and send it back to you all right we're going to start your test here's the pieces you sent to us pretty good variety and we're just going to start running the pieces and we're going to have them come into a bin right here then we'll be able to send the material back to you uh, to start the unit just put it on the blower the blower starts up, the granulator, you see it comes up to about eight running amps, seven running amps. The hydraulic unit for the ram, the shredder. This just goes on into the initial shredder, uh, it gets working and then it, co it goes off. It's just the amperage. What's important about that is if either the granulator or the shredder amps up, what will happen is the ram will immediately pull back so we're not overflowing uh, the machine. So everything's working and going right now. Paul's going to load your material in there. And so he's loading the first piece. We're going to load the second piece in there. There we go. How's the load a third? Got some third in there. I'm going to climb up the ladder and take a picture so I can show you how the action looks on the inside. material in. Just keep loading material. Load some more in there. The material's processing through. We're running it with a six millimeter screen uh, in the unit right now. We have a 20 millimeter screen in the shredder and a six millimeter screen in the granulator. Let's load some more. And throw these guys in there. Get rid of this stuff. Yeah, the machine's not having any problem with this stuff. So here's the board. You're getting some amperage on your shredder because we really we kind of filled her up good. And what happens is when the amperage on the shredder goes up, the ram will stop pushing forward, which then takes the stress off the shredder. And then once it comes back down to a normal running rate, the ram will re-engage and get it going. The granulator, as you can see, has no problem processing this material at all. It's going really easy through. Give me 
material's not hot. No real issues on it at all. What we'll do is we'll continue to process all the material here and then I'll send you the video and we'll bag up uh, the material and send it off back to you. Decided to do a little more of the video. We've loaded your whole, whole box in there. Probably about four minutes in on this test. stress and then the, the amperage on the shredder just amps up and take the big bite on the unit.